you folks, Quill18 here, and welcome to another episode of Let's Play Rim Dwarf World Fortress! We've got, we've got so many people in here. We did uh, recently change the storyteller back to Cassandra Classic, so we should be getting a lot of action very quickly. And, uh, I mean, Manhunter Packs of Rhinos, I think, qualify as a fair amount of action, so... Yeah, things have been pretty crazy. Uh, everyone just went to sleep, but hopefully they'll get up soon and uh, finish off these rhinos. I feel kind of bad for them to just be bleeding to death there, and I certainly don't want them to wake up again. Uh, a lot of our guns did get smashed. It's funny, we took out of a, um, a psychic ship over here without losing a single gun, but rhinos, yeah, that's a little too much. Um, I'm just going to toggle this, making sure that's okay, but it must be because we can't manually um, call up a, uh, a rearm job over there. It's a little funky. I, well, I don't know if this has changed, but it was at a certain point if you didn't set the auto rearm to be on before the trap went off, you had to do like a manual rearm command because like auto rearm just set up a rearm job when the trap went off and that was it. But maybe things have changed since then. I do not know. There we go. Those are all our rhinos. We're going to have lots of meat. We're going to be fine there. A little cooking bot. Cooking his buns off. What's what's he making right now? Simple meals. Now I'm assuming he can do all the things over here. Perfectly okay. I'm gonna move the simple meals down below here. Um, and just in case there's some sort of weird thing where the bot can't do all the advanced recipes, maybe what I'll do is I'll put in a. Oh yeah, and there's bulk jobs for it. A sort of cook fine meals job over here do until X, or X is like 35. Just to see if that can keep him a little busy. Oh, he's making coffee, though. Yeah, by reordering it. Yeah, I think it's fine. I think he can do that. So we're going to smash all this up. Smash all this. Butcher all this up. What are these things? Tobacco. Okay, we... I just realized, we have um, a do smoke leaf forever. But I think what we need to do, and I'll probably move this down somewhere. I don't know where. But I'm going to say, make cigarellos forever. Because we're going to be selling those. I'll put it just underneath the smoke leaf. There we go. So we'll convert all the cigarellos to that. We still have an excess of cocoa because it doesn't really get used for very much. The occasional cookie, but that's about all. Um, and we'll probably just have to sell it to some bulk vendor. Uh, next time, assuming I don't forget. Got some repairs here. We're still a little short on on steel overall. It's a bit of a weakness. You are deconstructing some stuff over here, which will give us a little steel. If you're not immediately canceling things with a cleaning job. Hmm. Tell you what, Daniel Dansko, I'm going to move your cleaning down to a three. Recruit and recruit you. Okay, you're still going to drink some brown ale, but there you go. Um, I think a cleaning bot would be one of the best ways to... Eliminate a few things. I still like everyone cleaning on mass as quickly as possible. It's really kept our base in good shape. Oh, these are all done here, and have to be set up for um, for vodka because I don't think there's anything in them yet. Um, let's try. Well, I probably could have done it even with that set up, but do do do. Or hold on, that was vodka. We're doing whiskey. There it is. Excellent. All right. Now, we still have to wait for a lot of the mash to get done. Maybe we don't need all these barrels, actually, because we may not have had a shortage over here. But I like the idea of increasing this in bulk. In fact, what we might do, I don't know, just make giant corn things. Like, we're growing enough stuff, it feels like. On the other hand, we do kind of consistently run out of, I think, vegetation. Rhino hide over here. So, um, Tynan, the, the developer of the game, has been talking that the version 1 is finally... Um, probably right around the corner over here and uh, one of the things he's talking about a change in there is a little bit of unifying of the various like hides and leathers into maybe like a, a few different categories but not having like a distinct leather for each type of animal just to make things stack a little bit better and I think that's fine I mean it, I, I do like the flavor of like yeah a beaver skin parker that's interesting but is it actually that useful I don't know how you'd how you'd uh, put it together maybe you could group together like mammals and lizard things and I, I'm not sure what uh, let's go and do a haul job over there I don't like the fact that the robot has to come out here to grab a few things at a time um, so it's probably better for performance it'll certainly be a lot better for organizing and it'll make it a lot easier to tailor because if we have just like 10 leathers of like 10 different creatures then you can't make anything with that but if it was somehow merged up to have a stack of 100 leather then that would be pretty good I mean I do have the mod um, that would allow me 
to make some like bonded leather and stuff partially to deal with these problems so that's something to consider going forward be nice to get some critters over here again so that we can uh, make use of our little animal area I'm sure we'll get around to it yeah I had sort of oops I can turn this off I had uh, somewhat accidentally grabbed the um, uh, the metal scraps over here the steel slag or whatever they call it yeah slag chunks so that got hauled but that's that's fine We've got a mad animal. It's a hare. I'll put the hunt on there. And, uh, you know what? Let's just go ahead and grab a few people over here. Come on. Come on, bunny. Kill a bunny. Oh, my God. Kill the bunny. All right. Thank you. How badly hurt were you there, Scream Cheese? Tearing her right leg without emotion. Alright. Well, that's okay. That should get treated fairly quickly. Um, they're also redoing the Doctor AI a little bit, just so that there's slightly higher degrees of priority for various actions. Uh, come over here. Oh, okay. Pedro's doing it. Good. I don't think Pedro's particularly high skill for it, but that's okay. Making the drugs, which is a very, very, very high priority job. And I'm still okay with having the drugs being a very, very high priority job. Um, it might keep people a little bit busy for a bit because of the uh, uh, the uncapping of the cigarello making. But other than that, I mean, you tend to like burn through this really fast. Unless we buy a bunch more bulk neutromine. Mm, grilled veggies. Look nice. I like the, uh, the little grill marks on there. I gotta say, the person who made the vegetable pack really did put in a little bit of effort to make the... Um, the art kind of cool and interesting. Got some more. I think that's socket. Yes, sir. And a raid. Tribes people attacking immediately. All right. Well, oh man, it'd be so funny if they just accidentally detonated these guys. Um, we don't have a lot of guns set up. That is the biggest problem here. Where are you going? Oh, you're going building a trap. No, you're not. You're gonna. You're gonna run back inside. Actually, here's what I'm concerned about. That there's actually someone outside that I don't know. Yep, like that. Get inside the base. Scream cheese. I'm going to get you. There we go. Toggle that. And then stay there. Everyone's inside. Okay. We'll go stand over here. Now, luckily the traps have been rearmed. That's going to make a big difference. Especially these guys. Since they don't have armor, they do tend to get obliterated by traps. Not that we're really seeing evidence of it here. There we go. So that'll change the margin of, like, them wanting to run away. Plus, I mean, there's less people, fewer people for us to deal with. Uh, da, 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 da. I guess we can, since there's no guns here, we can move out a little bit more. We might be a little bit exposed, but I think just the bulk fire is the way to go. Yeah. Flee! Flee! Hey, so there's some people here with some, uh intact livers for us. We have to be careful that we don't somehow end up getting shot by our turret here while trying to blow up Breezling and whoever is running away here. Okay. Unrecruit. So we're gonna, what we're going to do is we're going to capture everyone. Because if we can't, if we don't want to recruit them, we can still get their livers. Now, um, I'm going to turn this room here into more prisoner storage so we can grab more people at once like you and I know you're hurt but go ahead and capture Riesling and you're also hurt but again you're probably going to be fine okay I think that's captured everyone who was wiggling oh did you die over here trying to escape oh we got a sad wander from flex wait why are you sad wandering I missed that shoot should have just checked the uh, the tooltip here. A sad wander out there is very inconvenient. You're just outside the peace talks. It's going to use up more of your food resources. Grr. All right, get everyone inside. Now, let's take a quick look over here. Psychopath, trigger happy, optimist. You can't clean, haul, or plant work. You could research. You can construct. You're arguably recruitable here if you don't die. And... Prostophile, fast walker, and you can haul and everything. Hmm. 
Hmm, because I could use a couple of livers. Riesling. Misandrous Cannibal Abrasive. Hello, liver donor. Harvest. Wait, hold on. I know I'm typically very blind, but... Does this person not have a liver? Heart, stomach, heart, lung, kidney, kidney, ear, ear, nose, jaw. What? Oh, is it because your liver's wounded? Maybe it's because your liver's wounded. All right. Now, Essie, you're still, you're almost over your wake up addiction. Now, we're hoping there's no wake up around. I will be trying to feed you alcohol right before you get over your wake-up addiction. So that you should get up here. Now, I do have some doctors who aren't injured, which is good. Although you're asleep, which is stupid. Get up. We're using herbal meds on these guys. Herbal meds, if you prefer. So yeah, we'll do a, we'll do a basic patch-up job. Humps has died because of blood loss. We'll do a basic patch-up job and then see what goes on there. Uh, we'll do an unforbid everything. Ooh, that is laggy to do. There we go. Fifteen things across the map. There was various bodies and things like that, which will get burned up soon. Now, could you prioritize tending to our own people? Who's got a severe illness? Okay, it's Billa. That's fine, as long as it's not one of ours. So we'll see who is not bleeding to death after this and make some decisions. We could always release some people. I mean, we'll get some negative uh, mood boosts if we end up, uh, you know, killing them from harvesting their kidneys, or livers, rather. And they do stack, so we're not going to want to go into full har organ harvesting mode like the olden days of RimWorld. That's not where we're at. And Billa's got more infections. Billa's probably going to die. Should probably strip you ahead of time. Psychically dull, optimist, prostophile, like, and you don't, you're not forbidden from doing anything. Like, you, we, we really want you to live, actually. You'd be a very good recruitment person. Very recruitable. All right, well, we got plenty of herbal meds. We'll keep using that on people right now instead of regular medicine. A pack of capybaras. I mean, I think we'll just let them go through. That's okay. So most of what we still need is, oh, electric loom broke. Um, we still need a lot of steel is one of the big things that we are missing. Yeah, bulk goods trader would be good because we could sell a lot of things and probably just buy a crap ton of steel. Major break risk on scream cheese. Innocent prisoner died. I mean, come on. You're also lacking a bionic body part. How's your health, though? Like, we got to prioritize the bionics for people who need it at first. But, you know, go ahead and lose yourself an arm and then we'll, we'll see what we can do, buddy. Poor old scream cheese. I mean, when we get to, like, if we end up with some excess uh, resources and we've got, like, advanced bionics so that you can actually be upgraded by having a bionic part as opposed to a downgrade, then we'll see. Everyone's eating. Some people are fully healed now. Awesome. Okay. So we still get some red markers over here. Prostophile, fast walker. See, you're, like... You can't care. But you've mine... Yeah, we're going to definitely want to recruit you. Ooh, you are hard to recruit. We might just end up doing some releases. You can't be recruited at all. It's too bad. Your arm optimist. Hell, psychopath is, is handy as well. Um, so you did take the liver injury. I think we're going to harvest your liver. I mean, we're not that far away from printing our own livers, but, you know, we may as well use the real thing, right? 99% difficulty. Oh yeah, you're also going to get livered. Tell me you can be recruited. 80%, yeah. There you go. We'll grab you. I think we got some extra bedrooms. I'm pretty sure we still have at least one, two, three unowned. Yeah, we got lots of room. And then, of course, we can develop more of this stuff over here, too. Man, I'm so excited about these livers. We have so much cirrhosis going on. I can't imagine why. So you got a bunch of weapons here, some of which is actually pretty high quality and could probably be sold for a fair bit of money if it doesn't uh, rot out too, too much. I don't know about doing a high priority haul on it, but hopefully someone will get around to just hauling. Okay, most of the traps here are done. That is very handy. Of course, people can still sort of walk around some of these areas. We might just end up blocking this off. 
you know what? I think I will at this point. Really encourage people to walk through that stuff. So let's go and get some sandstone walls just across there. No reason to like double thickness it or anything like that. Not the world's most important priority. We got uranium root over there. I think we still have some smeltable, um, well, there's the plasteel. We might have some steel shrooms as well. Silver, I don't know. But the skill is a little bit of a barrier for some things. So you're making a bunch of cigarellos, which is fine. Still waiting for our unrecruitable prisoners to feel well enough for us to remove their livers. Assuming that's the limiter. We'll see what happens. We got some kitties flagged for being butchered because we're trying to keep the animal population in control. <laughs> Oh, cat meat. All right, sure. It's a little bit cruel, but there you go. So are you there yet? Visiting peace talks. Okay. You are actively in the peace talks. Hopefully not sad, wandering, and just being stupid. Cooking stir-fried meals with the wheat. All right. The wheat is maybe what? Are you making some noodles? Maybe you're making noodles. Da, 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 da. Still lots of injuries over there. I mean, of course, they didn't get the best treatment, so there might take a little bit longer to get over the cuts and bruises plus they were hurt a lot worse so it kind of makes sense what you up to you're resting you're drinking some coffee you're resting i like how people are drinking coffee right before sleep this is fine and yeah again just for like efficiency it would make sense to sort of bulk pick up this stuff val is no longer incapable of walking still injured yeah we'll wait a little bit longer Death number four. Sculpture depicts a cat being crippled in a cowardly, half-hearted way. Cat's eyes are closed. The lower part of the image is dominated by a ridge, while the work is shaded in the hues of blue and gray. The representation refers to the disabling of the cat on the 14th of September. Aww! It does tend to happen, though. Cats, for some reason, it's like legs and tails get ripped off instantly when they get in a fight. Still want to auto-door this stuff just for a little extra speed, but... You know, that's, that takes material and takes research. I still, I'm still, i still very happy that we're prioritizing researching some of, the, like, the, the organ stuff. We're still... I still don't know exactly where the brain stuff is, but we'll find it. We'll find it somewhere along the way. At some point, the uh, tissue printer will get built once we get some actual material here. Hopefully. Caravan 1 has run out of food. Okay, I didn't realize the peace talks would take so long. Wait, you're not even there. Time to destination, point two days. Uh... Flex. Screw the peace talks. Just run home as quickly as possible. Can I have, like, two caravans meet each other and merge? Can I have someone meet Flex with more food? I don't know if that's something that's possible. I don't think he's going to starve to death, but... Yeah. Yeah, we need, to get, we need to get our canning up, which is a tech, or start making survival meals, or something. Just so that we have proper, like... Longer lasting food. Everyone here is still a critical break risk. Oh! Essie's up. You're about to break. I didn't feed you that alcohol. Derp. Removing shield belt. Removing t shirt. Oh, you're removing all this decayed stuff. Could I, like, drink your liquor rather than get dressed? You're gonna break. Taking grilled vegetables. Uh huh. Drinking rum. There, go. Quick, 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 quick. Quick. You be drinking in place, it's fine. Okay, go and sit down. Come on, alcohol withdrawal. Woo! Alright, so you're taking a fluise. You've got cabin fever. I'm going to force you to go outside. There you go. Clear that out. Ha! Oh, thank goodness. Okay, you're going to be fine now, Essie. Still considers you a major break risk, but I think, yeah, it's just because the mood meter takes a while to... I like it. I like this sort of, like, delayed response to beauty and mood and things like that. It makes a lot more sense. Keeps things a little bit more realistic. You're making some fluies. Carrying fluies, relaxing a bit. So you're over your, um, buzzed. You got all the drugs going on. Um, you're over your, um, wake up addiction, which is nice. All right, so we're getting some chit chat there. We might be able to recruit some people uh, sooner rather than later. 1.8 chance. Some of them, you know, they're not super easy. I think we're trying to recruit someone who's got like, what? Is it like a 90 something? Okay, you're the easy one. 92, and we're going to try to recruit you. It's a little trickier, but I think we'll get there. It'll mostly come down to uh, how many negative moodlets you get from when we go and harvest some livers over here. Breakdown of a heater. Man, we do have a lot of components that can break down here. So we're going through our, our actual set of components. We still got a good number, so that's good. 
You're in a poor mood over here. What's your deal? Innocent prisoner died. <laughs> it won't be the last one. I'm afraid to say. Well, I'm not that afraid. It's a little scary uh, being around the boomalobes here. Yeah, we could tame them and start getting some chem fuel to run our um, our generators. That's something we could have done sooner in the run when we were doing our little wooden generators. But I still like the idea of chopping down the trees to, uh, you know, to not be elves. Oh, uh, someone can turn that off. Not that we don't have the power for it. But yeah, we definitely need a lot of metal. And yeah, I don't think we've got any steel. I think we did a pass not that long ago. Oh no, we still have some over here. And one of these people that we recruit is like a fast walker that is like got a 9 skill in mining. So that's probably going to be one of the priorities over there. Although, we do have some mining set up over here, so this might... We might still do this. And a new recruit! Bill a 2.3% chance. This is the person with like the 80% resistance. We got that. Oh, you need to get some booze. That's true. And, oh, I don't have my name list up. I'm terribly sorry. Never have this ready before the run. Because why would I? That would just represent some sort of, like, organization and professionalism. Uh, two things I am not known for. All right. So you are not Billa. You are, in fact, going to be... Malekian. Except, cap that out right. Malekian, is that spelled correctly? It is spelled correctly. Welcome to the group, Malekian. Hopefully you don't break on your way to picking up everything that you need. We're going to go and get you set up properly there. Double check the um, the assignments. That seems okay. And your work schedule. So, remind me again. Right, so you're the optimist and psychically dull. So you're going to be solid. You don't have passion for much. Um, you'd actually be a half-decent hunter. Uh, let's go ahead and equip you with an assault rifle. Interrupting what you were doing. Which is possibly bad, but that's okay. So, Malekian over here. We are going to, um, let me like copy this and paste you here just to get some default doctrine behaviors and things like that. I'm going to put the patienting. Well, no, you know what? I think the, the patienting and bed rest of the two is okay. Oh, other than the cleaning. I'm just worried about the doctor stuff. You know what? No, we're going to do that. That's going to be fine. Um, Hall Flick. And then you've got just a couple of default cooking things. I think the hunting is going to be fine over here. The construct job... No, we'll just disable that completely for you. And we might leave you to mine. I'll put like a level 4 priority on mine. But yeah, it's going to be like haul clean. Like hunt, haul clean. And then mine if you end up with some, some free time over there. Bruno is fully healed. You're someone we want to recruit. And then the two people who we want to liverize are still hurt. Just got to keep them alive long enough to be able to collect their livers. Wow, you had a lot of arrivals. You did not get along with things. Okay, so you no longer have an injured river. Liver. Injured river, yeah. There you go. Harvest liver. Excellent. And you as well. Your liver is still hurt. So yeah, we have to wait for it to be fully healed. This is our, um, our, uh, I'm trying to, like, synthetic organ, um, growing pod named Riesling. So we're getting some bad moods here. But that's okay. Because at least we'll be able to fix some people's livers. Oh, Riesling died during surgery. How tragic. We set this for guests because the idea is hopefully at some point we'll still get that. We'll wait for Val to get a little bit better off here. So yeah, let's take a look. We've got uh, Innocent Prisoner died. Someone organ harvested. Man, that lasts for a long time, too. Oh, man. And another Innocent Prisoner will die. It's fine, though. A few bad moods could possibly go wrong. Exploratory tunnels. Well, wow, that is a long walk down here to just decide you have to drink vodka. Um, Can I? Hold on. Can I tell people to carry... Only if I set a frequency. And I'd have to do it for particular booze. It'd be nice if they would just always carry a bottle of liquor with them. So Flex, how you doing? Oh man, you got a long time before you get home. Malnutrition trivial. 1.4 days. I may have just sent Flex to his death. 
not not realizing exactly how long it would take him to get there. It didn't help that he threw a tantrum part way. Damn it. What are these? Weak plants? Alright. Got tons of hay because we don't have any uh, any critters here. Yeah, flex? Hmm. I guess I could try to send a caravan to move you. I don't know if that works. So, why are you worth so little? You're pretty badly injured, I guess. So let's say Essie, who just woke up. Let's send you. Well, I guess we could bring prisoners with us. I guess they'd be chained up. Let's send you with um, a bunch of grilled kebabs. It's still gonna rot pretty fast. I mean, you'd probably be able to make there and back. Okay, we'll send you with some of that, and we'll send you with some booze. I have no idea if we can actually meet people. Here, grab all the rum. Okay, you're not overweighted. Um, you're gonna leave south, because that'll put you right on the road. And we're gonna accept. I have no idea if we can meet another caravan. For some reason, I didn't think you could, but maybe. A little cleaning jobs. Yeah, cleaning bot would be very nice for us. I think normally I might have prioritized going down the robotic stuff because it's so much fun. 1.2% chance. Yeah, we'll get you there. Caravan ready. Okay. Yeah, I have no idea. Stuck compact and machinery. Oh, nice. Okay, well, we got some mineables over here. Valid's fully healed. So, yeah, we're going to go ahead and uh, harvest your liver, buddy. And we'll do some surgeries soon. <laughs> uh, do we have actual medicine available? Three. All right, that'll be enough for some liver surgery. So yeah, I don't... If they end up in, like, the same square... I mean, you're still just a trivial. And you'll get there in a day. I bet you don't die. But we'll see what we can do anyway. Patient awaiting operations. So, I don't remember. Who's got cirrhosis? You have one. So, we would like to install a liver. Go, 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 go. Man, road travel is fast. Valus died during surgery. Oh, that's okay! <laughs> that was the prisoner. Everything is fine. Merch. Oh, select. Nice. Okay. And then go back to Mountain Home. It worked! Okay. So yeah, Val died. Oh, I should have stripped them first. But, you know, then they would have known what was coming. <laughs> uh, Dark's waiting for surgery And what I should do is make sure that our best possible doctor Let's say Danuj over here Is doing the actual surgery work You're not actually drunk You're missing some stuff But you're not drunk right now So that's good Install a liver You're going to use herbal meds for this? Really? Maybe the quality of the medicine doesn't uh, matter for the actual surgerizing Need Warden? I think Dark Elf's going to be a Warden. You're just offline right now. It's going to be fine. Major break risk with Mahay. I mean, we are... I guess, okay, it doesn't look like the number stacks too highly. It's just the duration's going to last. You're in a little bit of pain. You're feeling terrible. You've got liver, liver cirrhosis as well. That's right. Well, we do have a second liver. There you go. Let's do you. So dark surgery went fine. Excellent. And uh, Flex will be a warden as well when they come back. Oh, they're getting all lovey-dovey. It's wonderful. And the Brunia over here. Urgently hungry. Is no one feeding you? Oh, we don't have a warden. That's right. Valen Humps died. I don't know how that happened. Mm. Yeah, 
Yeah, we need Flex to come back here. I suppose I could turn on Wardening for someone else. Even, like, if it's just food, especially. Um, deliver food to prisoners. We could, like, make it like a... Deliver food, feed prisoners. I don't know what the difference is, but... Just make sure someone's taking care of that. We don't want our prisoners to starve to death. That would be kind of awkward and annoying. And there's no reason that someone with a high warding skill has to take care of that job. Just someone do it. There's a surgery, and you're using actual medicine for it. And you're not in a, the actual hospital, but hopefully this liver installation will go okay. There you go. There's your food, buddy. Boom. Done. Another successful operation. A fresh, shiny new liver. Awesome. Fresh, uh, it's still warm. It's still warm. Just came right out of another body. All right. We're gonna we're gonna put a cut in here. Research towards all of our tissue printing things is still a thing. We're still mostly waiting for material. Hopefully we'll get lucky and find some actual just steel somewhere in here. We have to generate more uh, more little exploratory tunnels. And again, there's some um, some tunnels or some steel over there. And Abruño is gonna be a great um, miner for us. I think it's okay to invest in these little tunnels. See what we can find because if we do find steel, it's probably worth the time spent getting there. Um, plus just the sheer amount. But yeah, I think, I don't know how much silver we've got. I don't remember if we spent all of it recently on something, but I think if a, if a bulk trader came, I think we could uh, easily afford quite a lot of steel by selling a fair amount of stuff on the other side. So we'll put a cut in here. Thanks for watching. I'll see you guys next time.